everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people, uh, the traditional owners, the traditional custodians of the land on which these videos are made, and welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. Love your comments, love your questions. What a fabulous community we have here, so keep it going, keep it coming. Uh, what I want to have a look at uh, after my previous reading uh, that I did on uh, Gil, uh, Roxanne, uh, Roxanne, Tickle, uh, I want to have a look at, uh, I'm not, actually, interestingly enough, this has been on my list for quite a while now to have a look at uh, the rise of the power of the feminine energy. Now, I'm not necessarily talking female, I'm talking feminine energy. Feminine energy is a internal uh, compassion and empathy, uh, a sense of community, that community matters. Whereas masculine energy, not necessarily male either, because there's women that have this as well, uh, and there are men that are in the feminine uh, as well. Um, we're supposed to have both. Uh, in a balanced manner, uh, whereas the masculine energy is very much about the individual and the I and what's in it for me type energy. So what we're, what's happening now is we're undergoing through quite a significant change that I'm noticing on so many fronts, uh, where it is a rise of the power of the feminine. And part of that is women standing up and just saying, no more. No more are we going to put up with it. Started, well, it started before the, you, uh, um, uh, Me Too movement, but it is gaining momentum. I know sometimes it feels like, goodness, we haven't gone anywhere when you're talking about uh, states that sort of enact laws from 1864 or whatever it was. Um, but we are going through this transition period. What's happening is the reason why uh, it seems like there's this aggressive uh, movement by the what's in it for me and power and control side of things is because they know that they are losing uh, their grip. They are losing their power, they are losing their dominance, and they're becoming even more um, uh, determined to hang on. Um, so that's why we've got this almost like it's going to get worse before it gets better type thing. So what's really struck me is not only the uh, Roxanne Tickle case that's going forward, but we've had also in Australia, we've had uh, the Brittany Higgins case uh, where intoxicated uh, and she was uh, uh, raped in our government, in our parliament buildings in a minister's office of all places, um, and then basically left uh, the... Um, uh, the Lerman, the dude, uh, so there was two court cases. She brought court cases against him to, to, um, in regards to him being a rapist. First court case was, uh, abandoned because of, um, the, the jury was compromised by some documentation that was handed to one of the jurors. The second court case, uh, she was going through that inc incredibly strong woman at the time, but she had a mental breakdown because of the stress of it all. Uh, so that second court case was abandoned. Uh, Lerman, Bruce, Bruce Lerman, uh, he then brought a court case against Brittany uh, Higgins and uh, Lisa Wilkinson, an interviewer. They had done an interview on the situation that won awards. Uh, he brought a court case against them uh, for so-called defamation. Now, you may have seen this uh, on your own news channels where basically uh, he escaped. He escaped the lion's den. He ex escaped uh, being... Um, criminally charged as a rapist, but he went back in to get his hat. So he bought this court case. The judge um, bought a ruling basically saying uh, it was a civil case, so there was no um, uh, jail time or anything for him, but basically uh, he lost the case, the defamation case, and the judge of the case branded him a rapist. So uh, he's now incredibly in debt because we have in Australia that if you bring a court case to court and you lose, you have to pay the costs of both sides, uh, as well as he may be up for some compensation. I haven't really, really read into it in depth. But on the same vein, we have our foreign minister, incredibly uh, intelligent, articulate, 
a powerful woman called Penny Wong, who also happens to be openly gay. She recently married her partner. Looking at uh, the uh, press secretary of the White House, Corinne Jean Perrier, also uh, not only is she an openly gay woman, she's also a woman of colour, but intelligent, articulate, powerful. Now, I'm not just saying uh people of uh, fluid gender, I'm talking about the feminine energy and this is what they're all empowering and I'm sure you can come up with a hundred examples of uh, these similar sorts of women, Stephanie Clifford being one of them uh, along that line. Uh, Kam uh, Kamala Harris is another. So, But I'm also going to put Pete Buttigieg in there as well and I'm going to put in uh, Beto O'Rourke and I'm going to, you know, there's a lot of people that are in that feminine energy field um, regardless of gender. So oh, after that long blah, 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 light says tarot, I'm just going to have a look. Uh, I'll draw some cards. I'm getting a call to the God, Cosmic Guidance. Uh, this is one of those alternate readings that I'm doing. I'm going to have a look at the energy of the rise of the feminine. The energy of the rise of the feminine. Let's have a look. So just show me what's happening. This is keep staying. It's on the bottom uh, it, when I'm shuffling, and it is about leaving behind the messaging that's not working, that no longer works for you, the the passion that's had its day, the plans that have run their course, but it's also leaving behind preconceived ideas, preconceived messages, expectations of who we are supposed to be. Put it down, let it go. Be who you are meant to be with your petticoats are fluttering and only take forward with you the power of inspirational messaging that is right for you. Now, I'm just going to put it out there. I am now technically tick the box late, six, uh, late 50s, not 60s, goodness me, late 50s. You know, back in my grandmother's era, I would be blue rinsing and two-piece uh, tweed suit. Not that my grandmother ever did that, but you know what I mean. Um, we're we're standing up and just saying no we are who we are who we are and this is who we are and we accept it and we embrace all those in our community and we welcome all comers as long as they also embrace all those in our community another thing that interestingly happened uh overnight or yesterday or the night before i think it was in australia when we had the stab yeah we're moving forward. It is this is forward movement, progressive movement, cannot be stopped. Um, and it's about working out how we are going to move forward with this as we go along. What I was just going to say a couple of nights ago, yes, we had another stabbing in Sydney. It was in a church. Uh, I think it was a Christian Orthodox church where the bishop and one of the clergymen were uh, stabbed uh, by a young man. Again, mental health. Uh, I'm just going to put it out there. I know that it's been treated as terrorism because he was uh, quoting uh, um, religious doctrine while he did it. But really, interestingly enough, after the event, um, a lot of men of the community, and I'm talking hundreds of men of that community, came to the church demanding basically to rip this young man apart uh, whereas, and the police and the, and the medical professionals that were there trying to save the uh, uh, religious leaders' lives as well as the young man who managed to cut off several of his own fingers in the, in the process, um, they were trying to get these people to hospital, they were trying to get them to safety, they were trying to arrest the young man as well as getting him medical treatment. Uh, they had to um, barricade themselves inside the church because there was this mob that came, men. I mean, for every hundred men, there may have been one woman in the crowd uh, who came and they really wanted revenge. And what happened was a massive riot where police cars were uh, severely damaged, uh, you know, windows and panels all smashed out. The police were forced to call for backup. The riot squad had to come, capsicum spray, you name it. But it was men. This, this was men doing this. 
It then cut the news article to the hospital where the religious leaders were, and there were people outside the hospital holding a prayer vigil for those that were inside. It was women. I mean, there were men there as well, but it was mainly women holding the pre peaceful prayer session. So I'm just saying this is this is as a contrast of the two energies. So show me the energies of the rise of the feminine. Now I know I'm oh, something's popped out. I don't know what it is. Um, I know I'm sort of soapboxing a bit. I just thought this was a really interesting subject. And I am going to say it's going to get worse before it gets better, but these glimmers of better. Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering, Bollard Man in the Bondi Junction incident, um, French French chappy trying to um, get a visa application going through the process. The prime minister to become an to become an Australian. The prime minister just said, "Yeah, you're in." <laughs> so I love it. The best, this uh, I'm talking about, the rise of the feminine is the best of humanity. Okay, let's have a look. Um, I'd put uh, World Kitchen in the feminine. I would put, um, you know, those that work with rescue animals in there. It, it's all that sort of energy. So come on down. Goodness me, 12 minutes in and goodness. So this is the first card out. Um, this is leaving behind the emotions that do not work, that no longer serve us as we walk towards this new beginning, this new dawn, this new this new start. Um, often women are touted as being overly emotional, which is why they can't uh, hold particular positions, etc. But it's always interesting to note that it's not the women who are getting who are rioting and smashing in police cars, etc. Um, this is about an emotional walking away from what no longer serves us towards the new beginning. And the second signifier card is end of chapter, new beginning stuff. Doesn't happen overnight. Uh, it is a process. But the energies behind the scenes, really heartbreak, loss, despair, anguish, barren, barrenness. Um, this is just really powerful um, energy behind the scenes where um, this is Roe versus, versus Wade. This is, was it Arizona? I'm trying to remember which state it was in the US where they bring back the, the 1864 law. This is the, this is the having to go to court. You're defined as a woman, but having to go to court to fight for the fact that you are a woman. It's just, feels like we've been here before, we've done this before. It's just a grief, a, a real grief. We're having to go through it again. We feel like we had made so much progress, yet we're being stabbed through the heart. It's just really, really intense. However, we also have the nurturing mother queen, nurturing, healing, stability protection, uh, serenity, calm, you name it. Uh, I love this queen. She is totally in um, connection with her surroundings. She's totally immersed in, in Mother Earth and what is important to protect Mother Earth. She's the nurturing, healing queen. Okay, the energy is coming out of this. Yeah, we are at New Start. New start, a new way of messaging, uh, a, a powerful, intuitive female energy that's coming forward with passion. Uh, it's a new beginning, a new way of doing is coming out of this despair that we've had to deal with. And when I'm talking about despair, I'm talking about the, the Weinstein type stuff, the, the, um, Oh, goodness, there's just too many to, to mention. I'm going to put this as my Me Too card. The, ang the anguish of the Me Too movement is bringing about this powerful new beginning. However, it is up to us to bring this about. And I'm talking about us. I'm talking about women and men who support women. We can stay in this protective status quo 
not challenging, not putting ourselves out there, say, staying what we would call safe but also oppressed to a degree. Uh, some of us aren't. Um, those of us that aren't really need to barrack for those that are, but I'm talking about domestic uh, domestic abuse. I'm talking about um, women not get, getting paid equal to men for doing the same job. I'm talking, you know, expectations that women work full time but have to do all the household stuff as well. No, but it's up to us to to throw off the shackles of these restrictions and for us to have the courage to pick up the key to unlock the door to the opportunities of the future that are there. So we're not there yet. I'm putting it out there. The karma hanging over the rise of the feminine, six of cups, past. Loyalty, emotions, the emotions of loyalty, past. Our history is hanging over us. But by working together, because remembering um, a lot of, I'm just going to put it out there, working together to create magic. I'm going to put that down because what I'm going to talk about, I've just mentioned, is that a lot of this, um, attempt to hold on to power, this aggressive, um, what's in it for me, it's all about me, power, control, greed, etc., is about dividing and therefore conquering. So it's very much about hitting women against women who, um, again, we've got, uh, I'm thinking about this um, Roxanne Tickle, um, but attacking Brittany Higgins, uh, because uh, on because of her femininity, it's it's attacking on an emotional level to divide is is their way of trying to to uh, hold on to power and control. And it's also again with the uh, with the Christian Orthodox Church incident um, by having an us versus them uh, is keeping us in this not progressive energy. We really need to work together to create magic and embrace together. This going forward. It's a swift kick up the backside. It is a harsh truth that will spur us forward. Many harsh truths that are spurring us forward. Now, at the moment, this knight is on foot. He's about to hop on his motorbike and it's going to gather momentum. Absolutely. We have so much strength within us. And when I say us, I'm not just talking women, I'm talking about men that support the concept of the feminine energy. Talking about you, Danny Shea, I'm talking about you, Dave Tarot by the Bay, I'm talking about you, Dave Johnson from Moonride, I'm talking about all of you. Hash Peters, we have it all within us. But we again, we need to come down off this safe, comfortable space where we are, feel protected and take the steps on this destiny journey that we are meant to be on together. We have this opportunity. It is being presented to us to dream big and bring it into fruition. It will take hard work. This is the dream, the work hard but dream big card to free ourselves from this messaging that keeps us in this shackled darkness, in this drama-ridden um, dark energy. Freedom, joy, togetherness, celebration, where we can bring this to fruition broaden our horizons, to claim our freedom and our emotional completion 
to be who we are meant to be. The completion of an emotional cycle. I love this. Absolutely love these cards. So, yeah. it's coming. We chose to be alive at this time to be part of this, this wherever on the spectrum we happen to be standing. Um, I'm going to draw some cards. I, I was when I was thinking about this reading from the Cosmic Guidance Oracle. Just to really fill out this reading. And you know what I love? Card on the bottom. Really powerful feminine holding on to that pentacle of opportunity, that pentacle of protection and healing. Remember who you are. Returning to your roots. Not what, not what society dictates who you are. Who you truly are. I'm also going to say, if I live to my grandmother's age, because I've had a few people say, oh, I'm too old, you know, they're too old. My age. Oh, I have to start, you know. Now, do I have to start again? I'm too old. Too old for a new career. Too old for... Hey, look, if I live to my grandmother's age, I am barely halfway there. Goodness me, what does the second half hold? I'm excited. I'm, I'm horrified because my knees and my my thumb joints are already saying it. Um, but I'm excited as well. Goodness me, another another whole fifty odd years to go. Crikey, goodbye, crikey. Wow, what am are we going to see in that time? Really excited. Um, okay, let's have a look. What message do you have for us? Just to finish up the rise of the power of the feminine. What message do you have for us? You want those cards in that order. Okay. okay let's have a look. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay, first of all, don't forget how to play. Joy, your inner child is here to play. Don't forget, most importantly, is to remember to play, to be happy, to do what brings you joy. Now, when I'm talking about that, look, if you if you want to take up, uh, go back to university and study something that you've been interested in in all your life, if you are wanting to take up uh, pottery classes, if you are wanting to uh, start a garden, whatever it is, whatever it is that makes you happy, aim for a half marathon. Mm, no time like the present to start training for that. Um, but joy, don't forget, you are here, you are on this earth at this this particular time to not be so serious. Remember to embrace what makes you happy to embrace play because we are, you're going to find it quite, uh, you're going to, okay, what I'm being told, thank you guys. If you hear them, the gruff one is master, the soft-spoken one is Narin. What I'm hearing is this, you're going to need, this as a foundation for you because we are going, we are stepping into this fire energy and fire energy is transformed transformation, rebirth, renewal, transformative energy, passionate transformative energy. But we need to start from a foundation of strength, of joy, of of um, gratitude, of, of not forgetting why we have been chosen to be here at this time. We've got the head logic and evaluation. So this isn't this isn't even though it's fire energy, it's not knee jerk energy. This is about using your mind, not your emotions, on this path forward. Also, love the fact that we've got astro astronomy and we've got 
um, mathematics and we've got religion and we've got uh, the written word and we've got the all-seeing eye, uh, we've got the stars and we've got the, the weather. This is, this is using your brain about what it is that you can do to bring about this transformation. Give yourself time to recuperate. You've got rest here. This is not a gung-ho. This is about smelling the roses, sitting in the sun. This is about looking after yourself first because you cannot give if you haven't got. So whatever you're doing, make sure you get enough sleep. Uh, don't if you've got things that you think, wake up in the middle of the night and think about, write them down. Send yourself a text message or whatever it is. Um, this is very much about being aware but not immersing yourself in the emotions of things that you have no control over. So I'm really getting a feel this is towards about looking after yourself first, eating nutritionally. Doesn't mean we can't gobble down a, a handful of gummy lollies as I did last night um, but this is very much about looking after yourself first so that you can give and give to yourself first. Women need to remember that we tend to give to everybody else first. Give to yourself first because we are in a dramatic season of change. A new season is upon us. Absolutely, and I'm not talking weather season. I'm talking about a spiritual, um, deep within community change. And the final card, this is why you need to look after yourself first, energy. I don't know if you can see that because it's going to be a powerful Chain storm brings change, intensity, passion, and power. Don't stand in the way. Do not stand in the way. So what have we got here? Fire, transform, transformative with a rebirth and a renewal in between. Don't forget to play, as I'm going to lunch tomorrow with a girlfriend. And use your head, not your emotional knee-jerk reactions. This is about uh, logic, logic in what you can bring to this process. Look after yourself first because you can't give if you haven't got. As we enter this period of change, this new season of humanity, because it is going to get, shit's going to get real. I'm just going to put it that way. It's going to get real. It's going to get dramatic. There are more of us than there are of them, but the reason they are powerful is because of their greed, not all of them, but greed um, and arrogance and narcissism. I'm just thinking uh, the difference between Elon Musk and who's the Berkeley Hathaway dude uh, who's giving all his money away to charity and has lived in the same house that he lived in for the last 50 years. The contrast. One would say I was I would say was masculine energy, and the other I would say was feminine energy. Shit's going to get real. Pace yourself because it is going to be a road. One, a long step, long road of steps, one step at a time. This step, the next step, it's not all going to happen at once. We have to take it one step at a time. So be patient. And I know some of you are going, I can't be patient, I'm getting too old. Well, all you can do is 
Start on the path and one step at a time. Because this wish is coming true. It's coming. And if you don't reach this top in this lifetime, pass through the portal and continue your journey in the next lifetime. I'm actually really looking forward to next lifetime. I'm here because of this process in this lifetime. But man, I'm looking forward to the next one. Absolutely. Okay. Love to you all. That was a bit of an out there reading. Love your comments. Look after yourselves. Look after your fellow people. It's going to be okay. So it's a process, but it's going to be okay. Love to you all. Take care.